All right, Stefan, thanks for taking some time to join us this week. And uh, first off, how have you enjoyed Kansas City so far this year? How are you enjoying your time in the United States? Oh, I'm having a, a good time since I've been here. Uh, outside football, I'm trying to to do as much as many things as as, I, as possible with the family, especially. So I'm having a good time here. Yeah. What have you and the family enjoyed most doing in Kansas City? Uh, it's it might sound funny, but um, the heat, <laughs> <laughs> the heat, because uh, yeah, we can go to the swimming pool. And um, late at night, we can, I don't know, we can go out, have a walk, go to the restaurant. So, I mean, we have a couple activities that we like to do. Have you, you talked about restaurants. Have you guys found a favorite kind of American food that maybe you, you're surprised you like? <laughs> uh, the first thing I tried was the barbecue. So I went to Claude Majo's and we went together also. Um, that's the one I, I like the most. I try a couple of barbecue places and I really like Oklahoma Joe's. Yeah, it's a really good one. Yeah. Uh, okay, so your family's here now. You have the, the wife and the little boy and the little girl and uh, we were just talking before the interview. You got a little surprise where they're going to stay and, and go to school here this year. You must be excited about that. Yeah, yeah, because at first it was not really the plan. And they came on vacation and we've decided that they were going to stay. We managed, uh, my wife was studying where she was before and we found the school for her so everybody's going to be together it's the best thing that could happen it's great and yeah. then the only question is what do they do when it gets really cold because they like the heat so what are they going to do in december and january right uh we're going to pray uh, <laughs> and hope we'll survive how do you feel like your first season has, has gone for the wizards on the field and and how do you like being part of this organization well when i got here i think one of the first time we spoke together for me, we, we're trying to build something. So I know the results are not the best results that we could have, but for the moment, uh, I like being part of, of something that I hope is going to get big. Mm -hmm. yeah. And there's definitely potential. Uh, the team's pretty good now. Uh, you missed about two months with an injury earlier this season. Yeah. How tough was that for you? And uh, did you get to learn anything about the team or about your role when you were sitting, kind of watching the games on TV? Yeah, yeah, especially when I was coming to the stadium to watch the games. Um, um, tactically, I was able to analyze a couple of things and uh, especially why the, the staff want me to play where I play and what they are expecting from me. Not to say that we'll, I will always be good, just maybe last week I was not really uh, very good, but um, I understood a couple of things that I think are going to help me and help the team, I hope. You've been around football, soccer for a long time. What do you see when you look at the, the Wizards team that, you know, if we do this better, we do that better. When we move towards the end of this year and next year, what do you see like the things that this team's close to being good? What do you feel like are the things that the team needs to still improve on? Uh, we have a lot of new players and that's always the hardest part because when you have new players, maybe on one, two or three games, you're going to play good and have good result, but it doesn't mean that it's going to stand for the whole season because you have up and downs and you need stability and you need to work and work and work and I remember in France we built a, in one of the team where I was we built a great team and it took like two years two years and a half so you really need time and patience and most of the time if you work hard you have results. I know you love playing chess as well tell us about how you got started in chess and it sounds like you were pretty good you played some of the best players in the world right? I was pretty good <laughs> and I played one of the best players in the world but uh, he, he played easily with me. It's not like I was competing with him. But um, I started playing chess, I was I think seven or eight. And I just liked it from the early beginning and I started studying some moves and I did a couple of competitions throughout the Caribbean. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I really liked it and I, try, I teach my kids how to play. Where it's true that my level is not uh, as good as before. When you retire, you're going to go into a competitive chess. You think you might play that again and then dedicate some time to trying to do that even semi-professionally or something like that? Uh, I'll try uh, with France and if I find that my level is, is good enough and if I can focus on, on that, yeah, I think I'll try to at least play semi-professionally if I can. That's great. Well, thanks for your time. We're glad to have you here and good luck this weekend. Thank you.